Several cars crushed in a deadly bridge collapse in Florida. Tonight, the race to find anyone still trapped. That happened near Florida International University just west of Miami. Let's get you right to KPX 5's Andrea Borba. She has the latest. Andrea? Well, tonight there are at least four people dead, ten others hurt. Crews are boring holes through concrete and dropping fiber optic cameras down, looking for any signs of life. Night has fallen and the search for survivors is still on beneath 950 tons of collapsed concrete and steel. Oh my God. This was the scene moments after the pedestrian walkway connecting Florida International University and the city of Sweetwater, Florida collapsed. The uh, whole bridge is down across the whole side of 8th Street. I jumped out of my car, locked my car, and I ran towards the victim to see if we could help anybody. But when I saw, the only thing you could see were, were the car lights in the front. It's totally smashed, almost to the ground. So there was only one girl that survived. This is a time lapse of that pedestrian footbridge going up. It was completed this past weekend. The footbridge was built using what's called accelerated bridge construction, a modular form of building. It's like a modular home where the walls and the rooms are built off site and then brought to the site and assembled. Jeff Weiss from Caltrans says it's done to minimize traffic headaches. It saves time because things are being done somewhere else and it also keeps traffic from being impositioned upon, right? You're not in the traveled way so you can put the bridge over at the last minute and you don't have as many closures. In fact, the Laurel Street Bridge that crosses over Interstate 780 in Vallejo was built the same way within the past year. Well, 780 is very busy, so if you can build things off site and then bring them in and assemble them one night, put the, the big piece over the road, you don't impact traffic very much. CBS News has learned that the company who assembled the footbridge has been sued in the past for a temporary footbridge collapsing and a 90-ton portion of the bridge being built in Virginia fell apart in 2012, injuring four workers. Now, at the moment, Caltrans says there aren't any plans to send engineers to, out to check on the safety of the Laurel Street Bridge. In the newsroom, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.